hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a full face of makeup but everything is going to be under 10 pounds um i've seen a few of these going around um so i thought i'd do it um so i've done my research some of these products i paid less than 10 pound for because i bought them in sales but they have now gone above 10 pound so i am gonna do full face of makeup and we'll go through everything as we go um my eyebrows are already done um you know i prefer to do them off camera um so i just use the barry m when i can find it the barry m um brow kit shape and define medium to dark just looks like this it did come with like some tweezers and a little brush but i've lost them so i used that um and then i went over with the bajor bajoris bajoris paris uh, brow design mascara um just in the shade Chatine. Chat Chatine. um and just looks like that it has got quite a big wand on it compared to what i'm used to because i'm used to using the gimme brow um which is obviously a really really tiny wand so we are going to get into today's video now so first off i'm going to go in with the elf paulus putty primer um this is my favorite primer above any others that i've got um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that and smear that all over my face. Ignore the concealer up here. I've carved out my brows. I wanted to go get them done yesterday and get my nails done as well, but everywhere was fully booked. So I couldn't get in anywhere, so they're going to have to wait a little while longer. So that's primer all done. So we're all set in now. Um, okay, so for foundation, I'm going to go in with uh, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is like £6 in boots, I think. It does smell though. It smells like paint. And you'll notice I finally got a new mirror as well. If you're looking for a cheap, affordable, full coverage foundation, this is the one. Because it is really, really full coverage. And like I say, it's like £6. But yeah, you can get it from Beauty Bay. I think Feel Unique sell it now. Um, Boops. I think Superdrug might stock Wet n Wild. I'm not 100% certain. But you can get it from a few different places. I'm just going to go in with just a tiny bit of the soft beige. Just to even me out a little bit. Because that is... The buff bisque is a little bit... Just a tad dark it's full coverage it's matte so i'm just gonna go over with my beauty blender and just blend all that out so that's now all blended so i like this mirror though because look it's like it's got your little it's got a handle and then you've got a little you can turn it into a stand and you've got your little doors so you can see all around i guess but yeah quite like it and then it just all folds away nicely cute um and if anyone's wondering it was 3.99 from tk maxx all right i'm gonna go in with um the makeup revolution conceal and define it so i'm gonna go into c2 first and we'll see how that looks um because i don't know if it's gonna be a little bit too yellow that looks okay actually because it's got such a big dough flat i did expect it to pick up a little bit more product but it doesn't pick up as much product as my elf camo concealer i mean that does have a little bit of a bigger dough flat and i've heard really really good things about this concealer as well i've just i bought it i put it away and just never bothered using it um, but a lot of that is because I prefer, I, like, I love the camo concealer from e.l.f. Um, and I just always steer towards that one. But I've run out. It's all gone. I did bring down medium peach, but I thought I'd give this one a go. Um, so, we'll blend. And I think the Conceal and Define, I think it's about £4 or something from Superdrug. Again, with Makeup Revolution, I think you can get it in boots, but I'm not 100% certain. And then I know it's definitely stocked on Beauty Bay. Just blending out nicely. 
no issues so far. Can't see any issues so far. Leaves a nice glow to the skin. It's quite nice and it's definitely, definitely full coverage. Which one is this? Conceal and define. So I don't know if this one's hydrating because I think I don't. I know they've definitely got different lines in the fa in the foundation, and I know in the concealer they've got conceal and define, and then conceal and define infinite. Um, but I've only got the white one of that. I use it as an eyeshadow base. I don't know if there is a conceal and hydrate concealer version. But I know that they've got quite a lot of the conceal and or whatever <laughs> in their lines. No, it's quite nice. I quite like that. It's nice. It's not as bright as I would like, so I think I am going to go in just with a little bit of the medium peach from e.l.f. Um, just because I like quite a bright under eye. And then this ends up being more yellow than I like. So, here we are. It has brightened me up a little bit, actually. And I didn't go in with a lot of that either. And with the e.l.f., um, I think it's, it's either five or six pounds um, in Asda, not Asda, in Boots, Superdrug. Um, <clears throat> I think it's on Feel Unique. Or Look Fantastic, or Cult Beauty, or all of them, I'm not sure. I know that there is quite a few different e.l.f. stockists in the UK. We like that. So, um, and did I tell you about the, oh, I've been having a bit of the primer. I think the primer is like six or seven pounds as well. It might even be five pounds. I'm not 100% certain, but I know it's not expensive anyway. It's definitely less than 10 pounds. So next I'm going to go into the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Powder and I'm just going to use this for under my eyes. Um, I've only just recently discovered this powder. I know it's been around for pff, years and years, but I've personally only just discovered it. And I quite like it just for setting my under eye makeup, to be honest, it's quite nice. And I know, because I've only just bought that, um, well, I say only just, I bought it about six, seven weeks ago, maybe. Um, and it was three pounds in boots. Um, I don't know if it's the same price everywhere, but it was definitely three pounds in boots. And like I say, I just like it just to set my under eye. I just feel like it just gives me a nice, not a glow, because it's a, it's obviously it's called Stay Matte, but it gives a nice finish to the skin. It's not cakey, it's not too matte. It's just, it's quite nice. Just leaves quite a nice, bright, awake under eye. Very nice, very nice. And then next thing that I'm going to go into, this, okay, so this is one of them products where it just changes prices all the time. So I watch a lot of American YouTubers, um, Tati, or Tati, Westbrook, um, who else, Laura Lee, I think, Kelly Strack, um, there's, there's a few, there's loads of them, I swear by this Cotier spun powder, so I wanted it. Um, and you can't buy it in the UK, so you have to get it, <coughs> excuse me, so you've got to get it from Amazon. Um, well, I mean, you can probably order it from other places as well, but Amazon is where I found it. Um, and now I went back to my actual purchase and I paid £9.99 for it. However, they have got it on Amazon for £13.99, £12.99, I think £15.99. There's loads of different prices for it so i paid less than 10 pounds by a penny so i don't actually know how much it is um it's a very very powdery powder obviously because it's a powder so what i do is i just but look like it, it literally just picks up so much so i just tap it off into the lid try and get as much of that powder off as i possibly can and then just go in and just powder my face and this just leaves the skin mattified it doesn't leave it cakey it just leaves it feeling really really nice to be honest 
it, but it smells again it really does smell it's got like um oh like a rose scent no, no, no it's not rose it's like old lady perfume not that there's anything wrong with that if that's your jam but yeah it does it it does smell it's really strong as well it's a really really strong scent i mean obviously once you put it on you can't smell it like the smell doesn't stay with you all day but it is a really 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 strong smell so just just bear that in mind if you don't like scented products like i said it just leaves the skin looking and feeling really really nice under 10 pound and look you get so much product in it you get how much do you get in 65 grams um i mean i don't know how much like my usual setting powders are because i don't have any in front of me but yeah 65 grams like that's a lot of product it's gonna last you a long long time and yeah if you can see it just it does leave it matte but it just leaves a really nice finish to the skin really nice ignore like here that obviously i've not done anything with my eyes yet but yeah just really nice okay so next thing that i'm gonna go into i'm gonna go into bronzer so this is a recent find of mine um i saw this i found when i if you i don't know if you've watched it but um i did a full face testing um sheen or she glam makeup um, and I got this from there as well. I use this shade here. It's really, really pretty. Um, just for a contour. There's no mirror. But this palette is like, I think it's like $2.99 or $4.99 or something. It's really not expensive at all. Um, and I, I do definitely recommend it. But I use the shade Noble Tient or Tint. I don't know how, how it's pronounced, but it's spelled T-E-I-N-T. -E um, and guys, look what happened. Look what happened to my brush. Can you see like all the cracks in it? I washed them and I didn't realise how hot my water had got. Um, and yeah, it split a few of my brushes. So I need to replace them. Just go here with the contour. And yeah, like it's just a really nice, like I've got a cheekbone now. What happened there? But yeah, just a really nice contour shade I've brought it too far up there on her oh god I look like I've been punched in the face I mean it's not an issue because we're gonna put blush over the top of that so that's not a problem anyway I'm going to this side I just went a little bit too rough with the brush powder I don't contour out my nose or anything like that but yeah it's just a really really nice contour powder I really like that and for 4 99 you can't really go wrong and I mean I've gotten you know Anastasia Beverly Hills brow kit uh, not brow kit sorry contour kit and I will say the shades are pretty damn close um and yeah they perform really well as well which is what you want doesn't really matter how much it costs you as long as you've got the performance that you want from it um next up i'm gonna go into bronzer now this one again is another one of them um so i personally paid seven pounds for this i think last year um in the sale on morphe's website i've checked it today um and it's now 12 pounds but it's got new packaging um same shades same pan size um but it's 12 pounds now so i'm not too sure gonna go back on sale i think it probably will because we're nearing the end of summer now um so i'm just gonna go in with this as my all over bronze and it comes with a nice mirror as well so and i mean i've had this for a year and i use it all the time and it's still got the little lines on it so oh my gosh guys it's so warm like honestly it's so 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 warm and then on the same um brush i'm just gonna go into the mua blushed um this i got from Superdrug. i think they're three pounds each i've got like i think i've got five or six of them upstairs they're really nice blushes really really pretty they're with matte finish um but yeah i got these from Superdrug, and i think at the time they were on a three for two as well so i got like three four six pounds um so yeah you, and they're just i mean i did slow my brushing up a little bit you see like just really really pretty 
like you don't expect that from a three pound blush but yeah it's really 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 pretty might have even gone a bit too far there i'll just go over that and just dull that down a little bit definitely went in a little bit too hard with that and that is in the shade rouge punch as well um yeah so they're just really nice pretty blushes and then for highlight i can't find this anymore but i'm sure it was 10 pound this is from boohoo this is the boohoo watch me glow that shade there they're stunning 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 colors oh they're just called highlight they don't have names they're just called highlight so i go into this shade first um and if that doesn't suit then i'll go over with a little bit of this shade okay. they do feel dry they feel dry but obviously it's how they perform isn't it not how dry in the feel not not as bright as i wanted still pretty though but not not as bright as i wanted so next one that i brought down which i think is my favorite for everybody is the sofex revolution palette this was 10 pounds um and i'm just gonna go into a mixture of these two shades here but these are really pretty as well and instantly you can see she's here like hello where did you come from <laughs> got a straight metal face now I love it though, that metallic finish. Oh, I love to glow. I love, love, love to glow. Really, really, really loving the base. Okay, so this is another one from Morphe. Um, again, this is like £16, I think, on their website. When I bought it, and it does go on sale at least once a month, it was £8. Um, and this is the Luminous Setting Spray. So I'm just going to set my base and then we'll move on to eyes. And it just leaves your skin just really nice. It's not tight. It's not going to set your makeup in place for hours and hours and hours. Um, it's not like an all-nighter, but it is good. It is nice and it does leave you with just a nice glow to the skin. And we're all about glowing. So now that the base is all done, I'm going to move on to Eyes Soft X Revolution palette. I think this is the extra spice, yeah. I don't have the original. And this was £10 from Boots. No, it wasn't. It was £10 from Superdrug. So <clears throat> it's got a mirror. So I'm just going to prime my lids. I'll just prime my lids. I'll be back. Okay, so eyes are primed or concealed and set. So I just primed them with a little bit of the Revolution Conceal and Defining C1 and the Stay Matte Powder. Okay, so I think I'm first. I'm just going to grab this Morphe brush and I'm just going to go into the shade Cookie Dough first and I'm just going to go all over the lid with that. I'm not going to do anything crazy today. I can put that down actually. So it does pick up quite a lot. So they are pigmented. And I do think Makeup Revolution are hit and miss with the palettes. I think the collab palettes are really, really good. Never had a problem with them. But then you get some of the regular palettes. And to be honest, they're just a little bit naff. So I'm just going to run that through my lid all over okay, then on the same brush i'm just going to go into a little bit of cheesecake and i'm not going to take that as far as the inner corner i'm just going to try and focus this just on the outer part and into the middle so i'm just going to pass that on and leave it to wow i've never really used this palette I've swatched it and I've pulled from the yellow shade um, and I think I once pulled from cookie dough 
Um, but aside from that, I've never really used it. And I don't really know why. But I do like Soph. I watch her videos quite a lot. Um, and I, that's why I bought it, really, because I like her. And I just wanted to support her. Okay, so I quite like that. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to pull from the EYN palette and I'm razzle dazzle this middle shade here. And I'm just going to take that on a finger um, just because I know that with these beauty bay shades, they're better applied with your finger. So I'm just going to take that to the middle of my lid, if you can see. I'm just going to tap that in. I suppose it's a good job, really, that I didn't get my nails done. And same on the other side, but on the other finger. And then I'm just going to... I need to wipe this. Yeah, so I'm going to go back into the soft palette and I'm going to use this everyday shade. Let's see what it's like on a brush first. Even by itself. So it does pick up and apply well on a brush by itself, but I do want a bit of extra spice. Um, so I'm just going to spray a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on there. And then I'm going to pick it up because I want it to like really, really pop. And then just gently pull over the top of that shade so that it looks like it's supposed to be like that. So that's quite nice. I really like that blue shade though. There's a little bit of fallout with that shade from the Beauty Bay palette, but literally minimal. Um, nothing major. And we can brush that away. Yeah, so that's gone now. And then I'm just going to go over with a little bit of that cookie dough, and I'm just going to go over the top. Just to pluck out any edges. And again, just into the same brush. And then lastly, I really want to use that blue shade, but I don't know if that's just going to ruin everything if I take that on this tiny brush. And it just gives it a little pop of something, doesn't it? I quite like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? It just gives it a little bit of something. And then on my brow bone, I'm going to go into the Morphe palette. I know I'm chopping and changing. And I'm just going to go into this shade here, which is called Sa Sashay. There we go. Cool. And then last thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back into the Soft palette cookie dough. And I'm just going to pull that underneath my eyes and just pull that up here I, don't, I really really don't understand why I've never used this palette because <laughs> the thing is is it's my jam as well like yeah I really like that I think that that's quite cute just a tiny bit of fallout oh god all you can smell is that powder <laughs> Then for eyeliner, um, I'm just going to go in with my Essence Liner. So this is, I think, £3. I picked mine up from Wilco's. I know that you can buy Essence online now. but um, And this is in the shade Snow Queen. And I just feel like it just really, really opens up my eyes. I do prefer a white liner. I'm then going to go in with the She Glam or Sheen uh, liquid liner again this is a new favorite drugstore liner um this is the waterproof liquid eyeliner i really like it it's got a nice felt tip this was i want to say three pounds from sheen shine sheen whatever you want to call it and i'm just gonna line my lids it's just nice and thick if you can see it doesn't bleed either, which is nice. 
I'm just going to do a baby wing. I'm not going to do anything drastic. I'm not going anywhere, so. Which is nice and cute. So I'll do the other eye and I'll come back. Okay, so liner is on. They're not perfect, but they'll be fine. And then this one, um, so for mascara, I've got the Katy Perry Loves Colour Cover Girl. I'm guessing it means Loves Colour Girl or X Colour Cover Girl. And this is the Katy Cat Eye or Katy Cat Eye. Um, and the wand is just in, I think it's in the shade blacker than black. Very black. Um, and then the wand just looks like this. It's a bit... It's a bit of a spirally wand. I've never used this before. It cost me £3.99 from TK Maxx. I've seen them for £2.99 in B&M or maybe the other way around. I can't remember. But other than that, I've never seen CoverGirl in the UK. So I don't know if it's sold anywhere. Okay, so it's a very flicky mascara. I don't know if you can see, but it's flicked down here. So it's very watery. It doesn't really claim to do anything. It's just called the Katie Cat Eye or Catty Cat Eye. It's really thick. I don't like it. It's almost too wet. And I can feel it on my lashes. It's really, really thick. And it's got a really strange wand as well. Yeah, look, it's, if you can see, it's like a, a spirally wand. I don't really like that. And it's, it's, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's like, the because it, it misses it out, you can't get a proper stroke through your lashes. And I just feel like it's just made them really, really wet and really, really clumpy. And I don't really like that in a mascara. Mine broken, maybe. No, I don't really like that. I'll do the other eye and then I'll come back. Hi guys, right, so I'm back. So um, mascara's done. I've put some lashes on. I just put the Ardell Wispies on. Um, the number one one three, um, from Superdrug, and they were seven pound. Um, so last thing, oh and by the way, that mascara, the amount of it I've just had to literally scrape off my face with a spoolie brush was unreal. So that mascara is a no from me, I'm not going to be using that again in a hurry. So I've got the Primark Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Rumour, this is a pound. Um, I've swatched these loads and loads of times, I've never actually used them. Um, so hopefully they apply as well as the swatch. a pinky nude colour so that's quite nice but yeah I just think for a pound they're really really good I want to do a testing Primark video I just need to actually go to Primark and get some makeup obviously I have got some just not anything new okay so I'm really really impressed with that it applies really nice, it's nice and even, um, it's pigmented, it's creamy, um, yeah, I like that, it's quite nice. The only thing is, is the, the tube, if you can see, is a little bit thick, um, so just make sure that you sharpen it, because I didn't, and I could see it sort of starting to scrape away at the bottom there. Um, so yeah, just bear that in mind and make sure it's sharpened. And then I've got the um, a Wet and Wild... Uh, liquid katsu in the shade nudist peach peach shade mm, it's not as pigmented as I remember but maybe it's just because it's a lighter shade it's still pretty though and these are like three pounds So that's quite pretty. We'll leave that to dry down. I did. And then I've got the e.l.f. Modern Metals uh, Lip Topper. It doesn't have a shade. 
I'm not really a fan of lip toppers, but I just thought, why not for the sake of the video? Why not? So I'll just pop that on. Oh, it smells nice. That's really pretty, actually. I don't mind that. Makes your lips look quite juicy. It's glittery. It's definitely got glitter in it and you can feel it. But yeah, let me just... And it is quite a thick gloss, if you can see there. It's not sticky though. It feels nice. It's nice, I like it, no complaints there. That is everything in today's video. What do you all think? Do we like this look? Do we not like this look? This is just to show that you don't have to spend a fortune to get a really nice everyday makeup look. Um, hair's a mess, apologies for that. Everything on my face today was under a tenner. Um, I did buy some things in the sale, so you know. But yeah, everything that I've used today, I personally paid less than £10 for. Um, the Elf thing, by the way, I bought that from their website ages ago and it was like £6. So everything that I've used today was under £10. What do we think of it? Probably could have done a bit better with my foundation match, but you win some, you lose some. So overall, I liked everything and to be honest, I know some products that I do use anyway in my day-to-day -day life, but quite a lot of them I don't, which surprises me. Uh, well, it kind of doesn't, it kind of doesn't. It does because they perform really well, but it doesn't because that's what I do. I buy makeup, take it home, put it in my drawer and never bring it out again. The Soap Extra Spice Palette, I'm going to use that a lot, I think. Um, the Morphe Palette, the, the Morphe Bronzer, I already use a lot. Um, the soft highlighter palette again i already enjoy that this um nudes highlighter palette i don't think i'll use that too often just because it's not as bright as i like but i do have a few friends that like that kind of thing um quite a muted highlight so you know um these are MUA blushes i already use them i already love them stay matte again already know it already use it already love it um the elf paulus putty primer already use it already know it already love it um this hydrate and conceal foundation hydrate conceal and define concealer i really like that that's quite nice i've never used that before but yeah that's quite nice i do like that um these what and wild mega last cap suit lipstick things whatever they are yeah because i did bring two shades down um this is in the shade rebel rose just looks like that so that's a nice deeper shade but i didn't really think it would go with this look i already like them um i've got like a few of them upstairs so i already know that i like them um i'm just trying to list everything here that i used uh, mascara don't like it it just to be honest it just made my lashes wet and just kind of pulled them down like you can't really see because look can you see like it's still it's just wet. It's just really wet and I don't like it. Yeah, it's just a really wet formula and see it's like left a mark now. <sighs> I didn't I didn't like that. The lip liner, lip gloss, I like them. I don't think I'm gonna wear this regular just because I'm not really a lip topper kind of a person. Um and to be honest, you can feel the glitter in it. It is quite a chunky glitter. Um, and I don't, again, that's just not something that I really like. Um, the foundation, I already know that I love that. So that's cool. The setting spray, I already know I love that. Courtier yeah, Spun, I know I love that. It just stinks. Bear that in mind if you're buying it. Um, the She Glam Palette. Can't fault this. That's two ninety nine, three ninety nine, 99 and it's amazing. <clears throat> my barium shape and define and the bajor uh brow 
mascara this i already love this i like i just don't like the wand on it it's too big it's huge um but i do like it it is nice it leaves your brows set in place it doesn't leave them too like you know um and i think that was everything so yes i liked most things i think the only things i didn't like was the mascara that was it i really didn't like the mascara but aside from that i liked everything else hopefully you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you like this and you want to see more videos like this under five pound products maybe that'd be a challenge but still under five pounds or under 10 pounds or a certain brand or whatever it may be just leave a comment down below and we can sort that out for you um, but don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye